So, I got home, I took Max out for a walk, and I'm just sitting smoking a cigarette on the balcony, and they're pounding my head right here, and I can put my hand up here, and now it feels like someone's pushing down on my hand, and shocking it. And now my hand hurts, and my head does not hurt, and I just moved it, and I have to move my hand to compensate. The chances of that being an internally caused natural phenomenon dead is impossible. I'm doing a simple sanity check here, as uh, similar to what witnesses did in jail, who went on official public record with Travis County Sheriff's Department when they were interviewed with the sergeant after they gave a, uh, an escalated uh, grievance in writing along with another victim. I'm doing that, and now they're pounding my head here again. Now I feel it back on my head again. That is a simple sanity check that proves that this is an external force. In addition to that, further evidence that would further prove my statement is that they're con they, uh, before I started this video, they uh, do this thing where they're like, we're trying to cause you enough pain to where you call where you do another video. And they said, oh, this is an opportunity for you to do a sanity check because you haven't been doing sanity checks lately, Kip. Uh, you've been mostly doing the retelling of things, which is what most of your pain, which was what some of your pain videos were when you first started your, do when you first started documenting the pain. Um, I mean, the first one was a sanity check, but then the ones, thereafter a few months later were mostly a retelling of what you were suffering from uh, during the day and then after a handful you started doing sanity checks so we wanted you to do a sanity check Kip because you haven't done one in a while that's what they're saying to me right now and that's what they're saying to me before the video and now they're pounding my head uh, uh, more severely and they're literally saying these same things that I'm saying right now as I'm saying it on video and oftentimes throughout the day when they do attack me right beforehand or immediately during, they'll describe it as if I'm describing it in a YouTube video or as if I'm typing it up in a text message to my dad or as if I'm typing, in, typing up the YouTube description. Uh, it's a very asinine thing that they do. Uh, while I'm usually another person's mocking me or uh, uh, commenting on how, mu how much it must hurt or we're so sorry or blah, 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 blah also pounding on my back, I can put my hole here, I can put my arm here and my whole forearm and hand are feeling a pulsation of an electrical shock and a crushing or, or, uh, or a sensation pushing down and it hurts when I do that and it partially relieves the pain from my back and now they're back on my back, they're hitting me between my left shoulder blade and below my right shoulder blade and now it's like now they're doing a tapping sensation or a pounding sensation so it's like and it hurts like a motherfucker. It's like someone's jabbing their thumb into my back or stabbing me in the back with a knife. And now they're making a comment going, just like your dad stabbed you in the back when he said that he was going to do, investigate this, and then he didn't because we got in his head and made him not do it. Over a bullshit reason. And they're still shocking and pushing down on my feet. My feet are literally deteriorating, and I've shown evidence of that. And, uh, that, <laughs> and you're doing nothing, Dad. Uh, sores don't just suddenly appear on the human body. My T cell count is not low enough for me to have any opportunistic infections. And uh, now they're doing more. Now they're adding a frostbite sensation to it, so it kind of feels like it feels like an icy sensation right here. And I'm moving it around. I can feel it on my hand now. When I move my hand there, my hand feels that same uh, slight icy sensation. And now they're increasing the icy sensation. It feels like there's a freeze, uh, like a freeze beam on me, like from Metroid. And as they're commenting on that, they're mentioning about Tyson Burrell and how he and his sister played Metroid on the Nintendo and had to had to timeshare between that because sometimes she was playing it, and then I would go home there and we would go up the stairs to the bonus room, and then he would kick her off of it, or she sometimes she would bitch about it and like save her save her safe codes. They said cheat codes, but then they corrected it and said safe codes. And they're like, how would we know that, Kip? How would we know that? You've never told anyone that. How would we know that Heather also played Metroid? How would we know that? Maybe we looked at her Facebook likes. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe there's a hint from your dad and your former friends uh, trying to pass the message along through us, unbeknownst to us, or beknownst to us, uh, as a hang-in-there thing, which isn't that horrible because, like, it doesn't take that long, and it shouldn't take more than 24 hours for them to rescue you. Blah, 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 blah. But it's a mechanism that we use to get, get false hope and make him think it's going to be over. And then, like, we fuck him over. And then he has to move or get kicked out of somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. So, thank you, Dad, for giving them countless more moments of my life. 
you're not allowed to give them even one more moment of my life, and yet you did. You just gave them countless more moments by doing absolutely nothing. It doesn't take that long. Get me and Max and my cat out of here now. Although I know you won't, but you have to. You're required to under every single moral, ethical, and legal code in the world. Otherwise, you're an aide and a supporter of terrorists, and you're protecting them over your own son.